Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Today's video is another Backrooms Explained video and in this video I'm going to be talking about a very famous Backrooms level called Level The End. Or The End. This is pretty crazy and I actually didn't know much about it before I did this video so I hope you enjoy it. But without any more announcements, let's get into the video. But first, go sub to my second channel. Alright, now let's get into the video. So you've probably all seen this image before. It's an empty library with the end is near on the wall. But did you know that it was a backrooms level? In fact, it's an enigmatic level, so you already know it's going to be pretty wacky. The end is classified as a class undetermined and is pretty much a trap level. Meaning that it gives you fake illusions that you've escaped the backrooms. These illusions can really mess with your mind because you think they're real, but they're not. The library itself is extremely quiet, which in and of itself can make you go insane, and the only noises that you can hear come from computers that buzz loudly. Now, as if the level couldn't get any worse, there's literally no way to leave the level that we know of, because of the physical properties that do not obey any physics or any Euclidean properties, and it makes exploring pretty much impossible. For example, you could just be walking in a completely straight line but you'd actually be going in circles. Or you could be walking straight and then turn around and just face plant right into a wall. Pretty confusing. Now the abnormal physics and the quietness are bad, don't get me wrong, but the fake realities are way worse and way more detrimental to your mental health and physical health. Fake realities are highly personalized areas inside of the end that look like places that you've been to or places that you're familiar with from real life. The level can also replicate actual objects and people too, and it's all tangible and can be interacted with. So it literally seems real, and every fake reality that's been documented exists in similar areas and they seem to share these transitional spaces that kind of blur together like borders, and these are where the two fake realities will meet. If you walk through one of those areas, that reality will disappear and you'll be back in the library part. But for real though, hallucinating places that you've been or people that you know would be terrible. Especially since you think it's real, so you would literally think that you're back in reality. It's also important to note that pretty much anything that uses Wi-Fi or electricity doesn't work here. So you can't radio for help or call for help or do anything. The only thing that does work that has any technology is those computers that are scattered around the level, but they're also really dangerous because for some reason entities, specifically party goers, like to hang out near them and capture prey. But some think that if you go on one of those computers and you run a specific .exe file on there, then you'll be sent to reality. Obviously no one knows if it works or not, but that would be pretty cool. There is actually surprisingly one base here called the Junkies. This one's pretty sad, but it's a ragtag group of six people who live inside of the fake reality areas of the level. They won't trade with you unless you give them memory juice, and they spend their entire day and night, pretty much their entire lives, high on memory juice inside of fake realities, pretending that they're in the real world. Wow, that's, that's sad, bro. To enter this level, you actually have a chance of entering here by going through any door that has a neon exit sign on it. And like I said earlier, there isn't even a confirmed exit, but it is theorized that you can no clip inside of one of those fake realities and you'll be sent to another level, but it's unknown and risky. But yeah, that was the end backrooms level. Honestly, it might be one of the scariest levels because of how much it can affect you physically and mentally both and just overall your morale. I mean, that's terrible. Just look at the junkies. They literally spend their entire lives so desperate that they drink memory juice and pretend that everything's real in a fake reality. I mean, that's literally just scary. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you had a great day. Make sure you go check out my second channel, Tugly, where I've been uploading Minecraft commentary videos, tier list videos, a bunch of other funny stuff. It's a great time. 
channel is close to 10k let's get it there thank you to my patrons and channel members for supporting me a little bit extra as always and thank you to everyone watching just for being awesome thank you so much the channel is really close on its way to 150,000 subscribers which i mean guys that's literally unbelievable i cannot thank you enough thank you for everything you do for me merch is in the works by the way stay tuned for that this summer thank you for watching and supporting me and i will see you later